Australia is a major producer and exporter of coal, which is the single largest contributor to climate change. Here, the impacts of climate change are profound and undeniable. Heat waves, droughts, megafires, and intense floods have ravaged urban and wilderness areas in recent years. And the Great Barrier Reef is acutely threatened by rising seawater temperatures and ocean acidification. The vast majority of people in Australia, at least, are very concerned about climate change, want more to be done about it, and would like their own employer to be doing a better job of managing the risk. The Australian coal industry has traditionally relied on funding from four major banks to operate. Julian Vincent saw the power that financial institutions have in driving coal production and started thinking about ways to intervene. In Australia, we have the big four banks are well known, ANZ, Combank, NAB, uh, Westpac. Banks are about making money and being socially acceptable. And so our job is putting that information out to the world so people could see how their bank, the custodian of their money, was using it to finance coal and gas projects. That's really where the kernel of the idea for market forces came about. Julian founded Market Forces in 2013 to use grassroots organizing to put pressure on banks and insurance companies that enable coal production. Good afternoon. I should also Julian also worked directly with executives and shareholders of financial institutions and empowered bank employees to stand up and demand change. We will use this project to shift finance and investment and drive money away from dirty fossil fuels and into clean renewable energy if we need to. You can say to someone, hey, your pension fund is invested in fossil fuels, that means you're invested in fossil fuels. You can tell them you don't want them to invest in fossil fuels and you can move your money elsewhere. Today around Australia about... Market forces led a series of divestment days where people across the country gathered at their local bank branches to close their accounts and destroy their bank cards. In the city, you've got a lot of people who also care about the issues that we work on, and they are overwhelmingly concerned about protecting the environment and avoiding runaway climate change. Our job is to reach out to these people and engage them and, and really tap into their sense of power and agency. The Market Forces campaign was a success. Eventually, Australia's four largest banks and three major insurance companies committed to cease their investment in coal projects by 2030. It would have been unthinkable in 2012 to get to that point. When we first started with the banks, we're still more than willing to fund coal projects. There's, there's no policy, no clear directive to avoid coal. Now you have all of the big four banks committed to being out of thermal coal by 2030. It feels a world of difference from where we were 10 years ago. Julian's activism has transformed the landscape of coal investment in Australia and created a drought of capital for new projects. Today, Julian is working to change the global picture of fossil fuel reliance by targeting financial institutions across the world. If we want to build powerful and effective and successful movements, we need to show everyone how they can be agents of change and we need them to take as much action as possible. For outstanding environmental achievement for islands and island nations, the 2022 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Julian Vincent, Melbourne, Australia.